Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our analysis for this Saturday through Monday, November 27 to 29, 2021 and this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update, here's the uh, latest graph sat beginning today Saturday until uh, Monday since uh, Sunday we are in, uh, not going to release uh, graph sat unless we have a major system inside the Philippine area responsibility so it's uh, based uh, the, we are now basing on the 48 hour forecast or the graphic analysis for today until Monday and uh, the uh, Easter release continues to strengthen and it's now affecting the uh, large areas of the uh, Philippine Islands, particularly those fa facing the east. Batanes, Buwinkubo Islands, Guyan Valley, Eastern Luzon, uh, Calabarazon, Metro Manila, Bicol Region, Oriental Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So the strengthening easterlies is mainly due to the uh, ongoing La Nina or slight La Nina as of this time, which is uh, at around 92% probability. And uh, it is expected to persist until early next year. So expect a more above average rainfall across the archipelago within the next couple of months. So these easterlies are bringing more thunderstorms across these uh, areas of the country. And we have a newly formed tropical uh, disturbance or so low pressure area near the uh, southeast coast of uh, Vietnam. This is uh, 94W. But it's, it's ha it has a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone, less than 35%. And it's no longer a threat to our country. But its trough, which is uh, broad enough, is affecting uh, Palawan and the Kalayan Island group. So expect some thunderstorms alongside uh, some winds because of the uh, enhanced northeast monsoon which is uh, covering much of the South China and West Philippine Seas. And uh, the uh, Northeast Monsoon is also uh, affecting uh, Taiwan, but over uh, here, over the Philippine Islands, it's uh, just the easterly surface wind flow. We have here a surface draft south of Mindanao. It's, it's not uh, affecting any portions of the Philippine Islands. So watch out for uh, lightning strikes and possible... Uh, uh, flooding or landslide when we have a severe thunderstorms, particularly over Mindanao and Visayas, portions of the Bicol region, as well as over the Cagayan Valley area. We have here a uh, uh, tail end of a frontal system or a shear line, and it's uh, no longer affecting the Philippine Islands. By the way, we are observing another low pressure area. This is LPA 93W but still has a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours, but for the next 48 to 72 hours or 2 to 3 days from now, it could develop into a tropical depression as it passes very near the Marianas or just south of Guam based on the computer models. We are going to show you the uh, uh, forecast of this uh, low pressure system for the next 5 to, t to 7 days based on our latest uh, computer model output the American and the European models, so uh, stay tuned for that. Now let's uh, proceed now to our fast animation, so there you go. This is the uh, low pressure area, 94W, and another one here near Chuk uh, Island in the uh, central Micronesia, approaching Guam. And here comes the uh, easterlies uh, affecting the eastern sections of the country. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, zoom in satellite animation, beginning 1 p.m. until uh, 6 p.m. this evening, is still isolated to scattered thunderstorms can be observed across the uh, various sections of the Philippine Islands. And if we take a look at the forecast of the rainfall for the next three days until Monday, we can still expect some isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms all across the eastern sections of the Philippines from Cagayan Valley up to eastern Mindanao and some uh, thunderstorms as well along the coastal areas of the northern Panay, Sulu Archipelago, Palawan because of the trough of the low pressure area near Vietnam and over at uh, Batanes, Babuin Kubab Islands we also have here some strong or potential heavy rainfall brought about by the uh, combined effects of the easterlies and the uh, another approach of the 
surge of another Amihan, okay, or northeast monsoon along these areas. And if we take a look now to our forecast, wind and pressure forecast from the European model, this is until Monday. So uh, for tomorrow afternoon, the low pressure area near uh, south of uh, Vietnam continues to move towards the Gulf of Thailand. And the easterly surface wind flow will continue to prevail across the eastern sections of the country, penetrating across Visayas and uh, Metro Manila. And uh, here comes the uh, LPA 93W approaching to the south of uh, uh, Guam. And on Monday afternoon, variable winds or the uh, easterlies will start to uh, slow down or weaken. But there are still some possible uh, threat of thunderstorms all across the uh, country. And we have here a possible uh, development of another frontal system, but not a low pressure area. So this uh, uh, developing system here might move towards the uh, northeast. And here comes the uh, LPA 93W moving to the southwest of Guam. And if we now focus on our attention on this uh, LPA outside of PAR, uh, we are going to uh, first discuss the American model. Okay, so for the American model, it's likely to become an active LPA or even a weak tropical depression based on their output. And on Tuesday, it will uh, intensify further into a tropical storm. Wednesday, December 1, it will uh, move slowly starting to move towards the north or quasi stationary and we have another surge a new surge of the northeast monsoon expected to uh, uh, bring windy con conditions with possible showers and thunderstorms across the eastern sections and northern sections of Luzon including also the coastal areas of the Bicol region and uh, various sections of Luzon and uh, on Thursday the uh, uh, potential tropical storm is now moving towards the north and this is good news it is not expected to enter the Philippine area responsibility based on the latest uh, forecast of the American model and the northeast monsoon will continue to affect uh, Luzon and on Friday the uh, potential tropical storm is now starting to accelerate towards the north northeast complete recovery is happening so that will be a good news to our country. There's no threat uh, based on the potential track of this low pressure system, which could become a tropical storm based on the uh, American model. And on Saturday, December 4, it's already here, farther away from the Western Pacific. And the Northeast Monsoon will continue to dig down and is now affecting uh, Eastern Visayas and uh, northern portions as well of the Visayas. So it will become windy and with uh, possible on and off rainfall across these areas including Bicol region and the eastern sections of Luzon. And uh, so that's the forecast. So that's uh, good news for the American model. If we now take a look at the uh, European model on Monday, it will become an active LPA, same with the American model. And on uh, Tuesday, the uh, LPA is likely to become a tropical storm west of Guam. And it's approaching the uh, Philippine Air Responsibility. But uh, we are going to show to you that this will also recurve, same with the American model. And we have now here on Tuesday, November 30th, another surge of uh, northeast monsoon moving down towards Luzon. And here comes the uh, potential frontal system or uh, subtropical low pressure area forming you know, east of uh, Batanes. And on uh, the first day of December, Wednesday, the uh, potential uh, tropical uh, uh, cyclone is uh, likely also to become a tropical storm. So it's now the same with the American model. So the probability of this becoming a tropical cyclone is becoming higher. And... Uh, on Wednesday, the northeast monsoon becomes stronger and is now affecting from Luzon, including the Bicol region and the northern sections of the Visayas. So expect some windy conditions of 30 to 50 kph with some possible on and off rainfall. Uh, let's hope it's not heavy. 
Okay. So th this will be the first um, surge of the uh, northeast monsoon over here, here in the Bicol region and northern Visayas. And on Thursday, December 2, the uh, tropical uh, potential, tropical storm is now expected to accelerate towards the north, northeast. And uh, there's a possibility that it could become a typhoon, uh, but already at upper uh, latitudes. So not a problem to our country. So this is good news based on the two computer models and the northeast monsoon will continue to affect uh, Luzon and northern Visayas. And on Friday, December 3, there we go, the tropical, uh, the, tropical the, the potential tropical storm accelerating now away from the western Pacific, similar with the American model, although it's uh, the uh, European model is uh, much ahead. So here... Uh, just the northeast monsoon will be expected across the Philippine Islands. No tropical cyclone, landfall, or threat. So that's good news to all of us. Let's hope and pray since the forecast is still within, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to uh, 6 days. It's already, it's already around 50% probability. So let's hope and pray it will continue that way so that uh, our country will continue to be typhoon-free. Uh, for the past uh, six, uh, 30 days now, okay? So, uh, that's good news compared to last year. We have back-to-back -back typhoons, so God is good, and nature is giving us some relief with this, uh, uh, due to this back-to-back uh, -back typhoon last year. So, this is uh, slightly good news to us. Uh, why did I say slightly? Because it's not yet the end of the year. Because sometimes, end of December, there might be a tropical cyclone development. So let's hope and pray it won't push through. So on uh, uh, Saturday, December 4, it's all clear. And we have another LPA here. Same with the American model here. Okay. And December 5, there you go. It's uh, on the uh, European model. It starts to dissipate. And on December 6, Monday, next next Monday... It's already gone. And we have here another uh, uh, potential circulation. Uh, maybe this that's a part of the uh, possible. There's a formation there. But still, it's early to tell. We have to wait until next week. Okay, for if there's another potential development. But so far, the potential storm that is expected to form on Monday or Tuesday is not expected to enter the Philippine area of responsibility based on the latest uh, uh, output from the uh, from the uh, two reliable computer models, the American and the European model. On Monday, we will be back and we will be having a clear picture on where, where the potential uh, tropical cyclone over to the west of Guam might go. So we'll keep you updated, okay? So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, weekend, Saturday. Until Monday, and we will return on Monday to give you more update on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. Happy weekend to all. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.